Name this vehicle. Hello. Let's play a game today called Name This Vehicle. What car do you see on the road? It's a passenger car with a sedan type body. The trunk is separate from the passenger compartment. And what is this? What vehicle is it? Correct! It's a cement mixer. It transports cement in its rotating drum. And what is this? It has a beacon on the roof. This is an ambulance. It takes sick people to the hospital. Here's another car. What could it be? A taxi cab. It carries passengers to a specified address. Oh, what a big vehicle this is. Can you guess? A passenger bus. It also carries passengers and each bus has its own fixed route. And this is... A trolley bus. Trolley buses have electric engines. They collect the electricity through overhead wires and then via trolley poles and contact shoes. This is also a passenger car, but not a sedan. It's called an estate car. You can get to the luggage compartment from the passenger seats. And what is this? Look at these huge wheels. It's a monster truck. A car with huge wheels. It's also called Bigfoot. And what is this? This is a tank. It has a powerful weapon and tracks instead of wheels. And what vehicle is this one? It's a small lorry. It's quite powerful. It delivers many different goods. Excellent! We named all the vehicles correctly. And which one is your favourite? Write your answer in the comments. Dr. Maquili. This showroom sells cars. And this is Dr. Maquili. She needs a new car. Bigger than her cabrio. Let's go and choose one.
There are so many different cars. Let's look at them all. This is an electric car. The trunk opens and so does the hood. It has large wheels, but you can't carry a lot of tools in a car like this. Let's look at another one. This is a sports car. It's very fast. But it's a racing car, not a work car. Dr. McQueely, let's continue. This is a yellow two-door sedan. Beautiful, but too small. You can't fit all the tools in it. So it's not suitable. What else do they sell here? Another sports car, except it's green this time. Let's look inside. Too little space as well. Do you have any bigger cars? A small blue lorry. It's made specially to transport goods. Sit inside, Dr. McQueely. No, you don't like it? You would like a more comfortable cabin. It. This big red minivan. It has sliding rear doors so it's convenient to load your tools. The cabin is spacious. All you need to do is add the Dr. McQueely inscription. Now a test drive. Oh, it stopped. The car has broken down right in the showroom. Let's check it out. No problem. They just forgot to put oil in the engine. Each car has a special device to measure the oil level. This stick is called a dipstick. It shows how much oil is left in the engine. This stick also has two notches. They show the minimum and the maximum oil level. There is clearly not enough oil in this car. Let's add some more. Unscrew the cap and fill it with oil. You can start the car. You can start the car. It's working. Dr. McQueely has repaired another car. Dr. McQueely. It's winter. Snow is falling from the sky. Look at the heaps of snow. Dr. McQueely is cleaning the car park in front of the garage. 
There's so much snow. Handy, help. Ha ha, Handy is helping to clean the car park. But the snow is falling heavily. We need a snow plough. Let's call for one. Hello, can you send us a snow plough please? And here it is. This truck has a big plough in the front. It removes the snow from the road and throws it out into the roadside. And this brush cleans the remaining snow. The snow plough is also carrying sand and gravel. The vehicle scatters it on the road so it doesn't become icy. Here we are. Snow plough, will you help us clean the car park? Of course it will. Look how fast it works. Snowplow, you're so good. Thank you. And before any new cars arrive at the garage, Dr. McQueely and Handy have decided to decorate a Christmas tree. Happy New Year! Dr. McWheely Spring has arrived. There are many vehicles on the road. This is a big car transporter. When such a heavy car drives on the asphalt, it can break up. Look! This is a small car. driven straight into a hole and broken apart. It's lucky that Dr. McQueely's garage is nearby. Dr. McQueely noticed the accident and needed to help the car immediately. Robot Handy brought the car to the garage. It needs repairing. And Handy needs to put traffic cones around the hole so no one else will drive into it. Job handy. Meanwhile, 
Dr. McQueely is fixing the broken suspension. That's what the suspension looks like. Dr. McQueely needs to do the same for the front wheels. We need a coil spring, steel shock absorbers, wheel discs and brakes. The suspension is ready. Let's attach the wheels now. Front and rear. Replace the door and the side mirror. So, what else do we need? What are these? Correct! It's the front bumper and the rear bumper. The car is fixed. Down you come, little car. Close the hood and the trunk. You can go now. Start the engine. The road has been repaired. Dumper truck brought some asphalt. And road roller compacted it. The asphalt has cooled down and hardened. Dr. McQueely is very glad. The road is like new. Dr. McQueely. Look, there are lots of cars in the street. Some are driving by themselves and some on a car transporter. The car transporter is big and strong. It carries up to 10 cars from the factory to the showroom. Let's name the colours. Purple Blue Yellow Pink Black White Red Blue Orange. Well done. All correct. Be careful, car transporter. There's a warning sign. Speed bump. You should slow down. 
Oh no! The white car has rolled off the platform. The car transporter hasn't noticed anything. It has arrived at the showroom. Let's help the car transporter to count the cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One car is missing. Do you know who has found it? Yes, Dr. McQueely. White car, you must go to the showroom. You don't know the way? No problem. Dr. McQueely will show you. Let's go. Almost there. Car transporter? We found the missing car. Now everything is all right. All the ten cars have arrived at the showroom. Oh, one thing, children. Somewhere in this cartoon, Dr. McQueely lost a nut like this. If you find it, tell us where it is in the comments. Thank you.